Hey everybody, I'm gonna do a quick demonstration video. This wiring is junk. I'm gonna rewire this tractor, okay? But I'm gonna show you, if you wanna go one wire alternator on an old tractor, how to use your original wiring. Well, first, you take your yellow, which is your, your field wire, and your blue, which is armature wire, and you hook it on the terminal that goes on the alternator, the power wire for the alternator. Okay. Not going to bother tightening it up because this is garbage anyways. But just, uh, just a demonstration. So these two go on the alternator. The yellow terminal, which is normally a 14 gauge yellow wire, your uh, field terminal, unhook it. This yellow up to the green. I can't do this on camera, but I'll show you afterward. Two smaller wires are hooked together on the L terminal. Now the next terminal is the blue one. To unhook the gen terminal and hook it to the bat terminal with the black one. I hooked the blue and the black together on the bat terminal. I hooked the yellow and the green together on the L terminal. And that's all you have to do to hook for a single wire alternator to make it work. You could hook everything in one terminal, which may be better, but it works. It, it, I think you're a little short with the screws to do that, but you hook it all up. You're just using your regulator as a junction block. It's not working anymore. If you have like a 560, 660, or 460, and it's tw they're already 12 volt, that's all you have, 12 volt negative ground, that's all you have to do. If you're going from positive ground to negative ground, you have to switch the wires around in the alt uh, on the ammeter because your current's running the opposite direction. You gotta change the coil around and put it backwards. You gotta feed the positive side and put the negative side to the to the to the distributor. If you're going from positive to negative, or of course six to twelve, you do the you change the coil out and you gotta put it backwards from the original. That's all you gotta do to use the original wiring to convert to an alternator. These are 10 gauge wires, which are adequate enough. This, this is 14 and the L terminal is 14. So you're good, you got adequate wiring for it. So there you go. God bless, see you in the next video.